Am I the asshole for letting my daughter wear an expensive dress to my sister's house? Me, my husband, and our 15-year-old daughter, Georgia, went to my sister's place for lunch this past weekend. Georgia is very bright. She completed her exams early and is now studying more advanced material. She's a big fashionista, a lot more than I was at that age. She loves pretty clothes and outfits, and we're happy to get her as much as we can, provided she behaves well and keeps up the good grades. The lunch with my sister was fairly casual, but Georgia wore her new pink dress. My sister isn't as well off as we are, unfortunately, and she is raising three children on her own, and her job isn't a high-paying one. In the past, she asked me if Georgia could tone down her outfits when we come to visit because she doesn't want her kids being upset because they can't afford things like that. I do get my sister's point, but it's not down to me to police what Georgia wears. I've spoken to Georgia about it, but I left the final decision to her. Anyway, so we went for lunch and Georgia ended up getting into an argument when my sister's 13-year-old daughter Lucy asked about the dress and where it was from. Georgia answered that it didn't matter because Lucy couldn't afford it anyway. We told Georgia to shut up as soon as the comment left her lips, but it soon ended up with Georgia and Lucy screaming at each other. My sister made the kids vanilla milkshakes and Lucy decided to throw hers all over Georgia, ruining the dress. Georgia burst into tears and to be fair, my sister did bring her a change of clothes. I said that if the dress was permanently ruined, I wanted my sister to reimburse us. My sister has refused and said that it was our responsibility because my daughter wore an expensive dress despite being warned not to. The dress cost a couple of hundred and washing it has failed to completely remove the stains. Frankly, I don't care about my sister's warnings. We can't make Georgia wear what she doesn't want to and it's not our problem that she can't control her child and stop her from ruining a beautiful dress. So am I the asshole? What an asshole, what a bitch. What kind of sister are you, bro? Your sister's going through shit and you're gonna be like, Where worth me for my sister, my daughter's dress? Like, you could, oh my god. Like, alhamdulillah, my, oh my god. What is wrong with people? What's the difference between you and strangers if you're gonna ask for money back for a dress? Like, chill out. Story time on how my mom threw hot boiling water at my dad. Okay, so boom, my parents been together for 15 years at this point and I was only 14. My parents were only dating for a couple of months and then my mom got pregnant with me. So they ended up getting married soon after. The only problem with that is my mom never really got to know my real dad. He had anger issues and I'm talking real anger issues. And he refused to go to therapy. Oh, well, I'm sure you guys guessed it. My dad was putting his hands on my mom and I mean beating her for dumb reasons. And every time I tried to stop it, my dad would literally turn around and beat me too you would think he would stop for his daughter but because he would beat me so bad my mom always told me to stay out of it well one day my mom was cooking and she was boiling some water my dad came home and seen that she was cooking and got angry he said that his food should be ready before he gets home my mom just stayed quiet and he went to go hit her but this day my mom was tired of it so something changed like for part two Part two on how my mom threw hot boiling water at my dad. So like I said, once my dad got home, he was super angry. He told my mom that his food should have been ready already, even though my mom was literally cooking it. So he went to beat her. But my mom was sick of it. But as he went to hit her, my mom just took the boiling water and threw it at his face. My dad screamed, ran upstairs, and went into the bathroom. My mom took me, took the keys, ran to the car, and we drove to her sister's house. My mom was hysterical. No one in our family knew what was going on in our household. So we had to explain everything to everyone. We called the cops on my dad, and now he's in jail. But I did ask my mom what changed this time. She said she couldn't stand there anymore, but not because of her, but because of me. She didn't want me to grow up thinking this was okay and that this how men treat their women and she definitely didn't want him to lay one more finger on me ever again so she had to build up the courage for herself and for me both and i will always be super proud of my mom stay safe guys am i the asshole for ruining a pregnancy announcement by telling the woman she may have taken the wrong test my husband and I recently invited eight friends for lunch and we were asked if we could also include a new couple, Doug and Sasha. We have never met them before, but everyone who was invited had, so we said sure. At one point during dinner, Sasha needed to use the restroom, and I told her to use the master suite since the other bathroom was occupied. I was helping my husband in the kitchen when Sasha came out of the room bawling and holding something in her hand. At first, I thought she hurt herself, but she said something to Doug that caused him to drop to his knees, cry, and begin kissing her stomach. All of our friends began screaming, jumping, and crying. It was insane. Finally, Sasha tells my husband and I that she is pregnant. Of course, we congratulate both of them, and then I give them a bag to put the pregnancy test in. I will admit, I did find it odd that she brought a pregnancy test and took it at a complete stranger's house, but I didn't say that out loud. Once everyone sat down to eat, Sasha looked over to me and said, I hope you don't mind that I use one of your pregnancy tests. I just saw them and I had to. Looking at her confused, I responded, I don't have any pregnancy tests. 
Sasha says yes, in your drawer. I asked Sasha if she meant the blue box in the back of my lower left drawer that was closed. She seemed to realize I was pointing out that she basically snooped around and she sheepishly said the box said pregnancy for pregnancy tests. I said, Sasha, the brand is Pregmate and those are ovulation tests. I do not own pregnancy tests. Did you take an ovulation test? Her husband freaked the absolute F out at me and said his wife was not an idiot and can read a box. He insisted Sasha get the test out now and show me that I'm wrong. Sasha refused, saying she didn't need to prove anything to a complete stranger and insisted they leave immediately. One of the couples thought that Doug and Sasha acted completely ridiculous, while the other three couples thought I should have pulled Sasha aside to discuss my concerns and said I was the asshole for saying something in front of everyone. Honestly, the whole situation caught me off guard and everything happened so quickly. The whole thing was bizarre and confusing. I just didn't have the time to put the pieces together mentally before asking about the ovulation tests. Also, I found out later through one of my friends that Sasha did take the ovulation test and she is not pregnant. Cause he's just a little attention attractor When he grows up to be a comic or actor He'll be rewarded for never maturing For never understanding or learning That every day can't be about him There's other people, you selfish asshole Must be psychotic, I must be demented To think that I'm worthy of all this attention Of all of this money you worked really hard for I slept in late while you worked at the drugstore My drug's attention I am an addict, but I get paid to indulge in my habit. It's all an illusion. I'm wearing makeup. I'm wearing makeup, 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 makeup. Art is a dead, so people think you're. Did I mess up by buying my two-year-old daughter a Peppa the Pig piñata for her birthday? This well-meaning gesture turned into tragedy happened today. Like many toddlers, my kid loves that horrible little creature called Peppa. While I was shopping for birthday supplies this week, I saw a Peppa piñata and instantly thought two things. The kid is going to love this and I'm going to love seeing Peppa get deleted with a stick. She saw it a couple of times during the week and each time she was like, Peppa, hi Peppa, that's Peppa. So I knew without a shadow of doubt I had made the right choice. Cue the main event. In one corner, we have Peppa, and in the other corner, we have 15 older kids jacked up on cupcakes and soda. They don't care about Peppa, they only care about getting their next fix, and they know that fix is inside the paper piglet. My wife is holding up my daughter, and I'm standing beside them. The first kid steps up, and the adults are cheering, and the kids are hyped. Three swings and three misses. The families are laughing and cheering as the next kid steps up. First swing, miss. No issues yet. Second swing, some light contact is made, and this is where it goes downhill. I look over and see visible concern on my daughter's face. Third swing, contact. Full on twack. The parents cheer, and the kids are now at a near fever pitch of excitement. Except for one, the one whose birthday we're here to celebrate. She bursts into tears, and I look at my wife in that moment, and we both realize we fucked up. She's two. She doesn't know what the heck a piñata is. This is her first time seeing one. What she is seeing is her favorite cartoon character getting beat down by her cousins. Ah, uh, babe, maybe you should take her inside. I don't think this is going to end the way we thought it was going to. Yeah, you're right. That should be the end of the story, right? A lesson learned on what not to do next time. Nope. My wife needed to use the bathroom, so my daughter was wandering around the living room. My mom, who was in the upstairs bathroom, comes downstairs and saw my daughter and the excitement going on outside and scooped her up and brought her back outside. I'm on the other side of the yard as I see my mom come out with my daughter and I start walking towards them. Too late. She stops at the end of the deck, giving my daughter an unobstructed view of what happened next. The kill shot. One of the older kids let loose a thunderous haymaker and explodes Peppa. The parents cheer and the kids lose their mind. They're fighting each other for candy over the corpse of Peppa. My kid unfortunately lost her goddamn mind. Full on ugly cry while muttering, Peppa, 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 in between sobs. Thankfully, kids that age have short memories, but it took her a good 45 minutes to fully settle down from watching the murder of her beloved Peppa. Your sweet music in my ear like the marshmallow You were wearing yellow, so I had to follow Like the sun, you brought light to my life, a happy fellow When I'm not with you, I know I'm in a place less than perfect Beautiful memories we share got me feeling special Fighting for our love every day because it's worth it There's nothing to lose when I'm with you You got my emotion Even when I break your heart, you're patient 
Your love and me steady on the motion You're my ride or die, you're my ride or die You got my emotion Even when I break your heart, you're patient Your love and me steady on the motion You're my ride or die, you're my ride or die